In a pre-packaged holiday message, Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire, the member of Parliament for Castries South, expressed gratitude to constituents for their unwavering support throughout the year. The constituency office also embarked on several short-term employment campaigns to create much-needed economic activity in the communities. These programs are aimed at creating employment and rebuilding the ideology of community. This must never be lost as we aim to reduce the level of violence across the island. Let me take this opportunity to share my condolences with the families and friends of those that have been victims of violence throughout. We will continue to make investments in our national security to prevent these crimes, but also develop the social programs to help change the mindset of persons who are tempted to commit such horrendous and selfless acts of violence. In the spirit of Christmas, I appeal for more love and caring from each other and for everyone to find alternative means of resolving conflict. Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire highlights substantial growth and recovery in the crucial tourism industry in his prepackaged holiday message. He emphasizes the notable increase in stayover arrivals, acknowledging the progress achieved despite ongoing challenges related to airlift capacity. The 2023-24 winter season has seen the return of Virgin Atlantic and TUI from the United Kingdom, again which will boost our capacity from that market. Regionally, we are still in discussions with stakeholders to rebuild our regional air travel network. This has severely hampered our efforts to increase our regional tourism. We do hope that we can make strides in this effort going into the new year. All of our other markets continue to perform at high levels and the airlines have been adding seats to those high-performing routes to meet the demand. In true St. Lucian excellence, our fair Helen has again won the Caribbean and world leading honeymoon destination and the Caribbean's leading adventure destination. We were also able to capture for the first time Caribbean's leading nature destination at the Caribbean and the America's Gala Ceremony 2023 held in St. Lucia. As a nation and as a people, we must be proud of these achievements as they show the true talent of our people. Highlighting cultural achievements, Dr. Hilaire expressed immense pride in the successful organization of Carnival and Jeune Creole, as well as the revitalization of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. We saw the return of our beloved and world-renowned St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival in its original form. I want to say kudos to the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Events Company of St. Lucia, the Cultural Development Foundation, and all other stakeholders for a success-filled jazz festival. We are a strong and resilient nation. Let us continue to work together for the overall success of St. Lucia. Dr. Hilaire closed his holiday message with a wave of optimism, expressing hope for a brighter 2024 marked by unity and continued progress. Solash Alfred, HTS News Force.